Welcome once again, along to uh, Broxham Athletic TV after uh, tonight's 4 0 Scottish Cup success in the first round down here at Dalkeith. We've got Stephen McElhone, uh, Broxham Athletic coach, with us. Stephen, what do you make of tonight's performance? Mm, not a very good performance, and I think I will, will give great credit to Dalkeith for uh, making this uh, a very difficult night for us, really. A um, bit of fitness at the end, and some quality uh, we overcame. Uh, what Dalkeith were trying to do, so um, I don't think you say that we, we didn't deserve the, the win. Uh, I'm not saying that, but um, we never showed much composure. There was too much of a rush in the first half, but once we, and it took a long time to get the second goal, uh, but after we got the second goal, I think uh, once it opened up and a bit of fitness over us, we were well deserved on us. It was a very nervy start, I thought, from the from the players. Oh, it's maybe uh, with the game being on TV, big, big night. And as favourites, and, and again, playing a team that are uh, further down the pyramid than, than, than ourselves, did, did you think that affected them at the start? Definitely. It's only um, natural that if they've been at your work all day and you're thinking what you're going to do tonight and you're going to be live in the BBC, and you know, it'll be the same for both teams. And Dalkeith had nothing to lose. And, you know, the cameras, the BBC were here for, they were looking to see a shock. And the shock was for Broxbourne to get beat. So, um, we overcome it and we got there, but yeah, there would be a, again, there would be a, a lot of uh, nervous exhaustion during the day, um, thinking about what was going to happen at night, so um, just glad that we got there in the end. Yeah, and it was, a, um, as you say, Dalkey started very well in the game and a first real opportunity that we had, great move between Kyle and Owen out on the, the right wing, great ball over for, for El to score and that really can settle things down a little. It was. I thought uh, Owen showed great, great maturity for one so young that, you know, in front of the cameras that um, to take the shot himself, but he showed great maturity in squaring it for Errol to roll it in the back of the net, you know, so it was, uh, aye, well done Owen. Yeah, and in the second half, Dalkeith had it again, little bits and pieces at the start of the second half, but we really seemed to then to get more of a grip of the game. Yeah, we had some harsh words for them at half time about how we can um, improve in our first half display and yeah, but we're better all around the park, and instead, I thought we should just have a little bit more composure, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And once again, we've got Errol with another hat trick. It wasn't his great best night, was it? Even he says, and he was quite detrimental to his performance there, so um, that tells you everything. Uh, Errol um, has got high standards of his performance and whatnot, but a goal scorer uh, looks, yeah, he's. He looks to score goals and he scored goals, so we kind of complain at that. But in our cup time, the main thing is that we we get into the, the, the hat for the, the, the next round, which is yeah. absolutely the main thing. Throughout my years, it's always been about being in the next round and being in the hat for the next round. And I don't think I was ever worried about not being in the hat for the next round, but certainly we could have played much better. But I'll give uh, Dal Keith all credit for that, for making it as difficult as possible. Yeah, absolutely. I would totally agree with that. Dal Keith made it really difficult for us today. So we'll see who we get. I think they draw us Sunday night now, five o'clock on YouTube. So we'll we'll see what the, the, the next round brings. And the games, of course, keep uh, coming. Um, we've got uh, back to the Lowland League on, on Tuesday night against high-flying Caledonian Braves, which is going to be a different challenge again. It's going to be a different challenge, but you know, this is where we want to. Things, I mean, Cali Braves have been in the, the league for a few years, and you know, we're trying to make we'll get to the point where they are, and they're sitting at the top of the league. I say so. Um, it'll be tough, they don't score much, but don't, they definitely don't concede, and that's where it's there's not going to be much in the game at all. So, we've got to be up for it. We'll have to see where we go with it, and um, we'll be looking forward to it as, as every other game, but again. Um, I think everything was set up tonight for us to fail, and we'll, over, we'll overcome that, and, you know. But um, it'll be a much more even game, shall we say, on uh, Tuesday night. But we'll, we'll be looking forward to it. That's great, Stephen. Thanks very much for your time tonight, and well done on getting through to the second round. Thank Thanks, you. Mike. Cheers. Cheers. And now we have uh, Boxman Athletic goalkeeper uh, Bob Watt after. Uh, tonight's 4 0 win here at uh, Dalkeith in the first round of the Scottish Cup. Great win, Bob. What were your thoughts on the game tonight? Uh, first half, I thought it was pretty, pretty poor, to be honest. We uh, weren't great, but went in 1 0. Uh, we just knew we had to lift things at half time. Came out uh, second half, and I thought things got better, but 
still wasn't at our best. It was always going to be a difficult game coming down here on a Friday night on the telly. It's always need to match the occasion, but uh, now nah, we got through that. Amazing. And you made a crucial save in the, the first half as well to keep us uh, ahead with probably uh, Balky's probably best chance there in the first half. You pulled off a great save. Ah, I saw it late to be honest. I just uh, I never actually thought he was going to hit it, but he's hit it pretty. He's hit it pretty early, and I managed to get down into the green post. So uh, after that. And you'll be chuffed being back in the team, and that's two clean sheets in a row now for you as well, so you'll be pleased with that. Nah, I was happy to get back in the team. Obviously, Big Jordan got injured, unfortunately, so it let me back in the team, and uh, done all right since I came back in. I was just two clean sheets, uh, that'll help me keep my position, which is now. And the second half, we seemed to get more of a hold on the game in the second half. There was less for you to do in the, 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 the second half, but... Again, you dealt with anything that was put in front of you, uh, collecting balls and being very alert to, to what was going on. I think uh, the second half was just more about organising the game and getting us through. Uh, the young team at the back of the goals were absolutely causing chaos. So, uh, <laughs> no, just getting through that uh, second half and then scored three good goals at the end, near the end, to make it look a convincing victory. So, uh, happy with that. So, into the second round now. So, have you any fancies on who you would want in the next round? Uh, I don't, I'm not actually sure who comes in. Uh, the next round is it League Two? I think it's League Two, yeah. Aye, so nah, it'll be a big draw would be decent uh, for another couple of rounds away. So if we can get a favourable tie, that would be ideal. Home tie, home tie, obviously. Yeah, get a good doubt for the boys. And uh, the games, uh, as, as we said to Stephen, keep coming. And now low in League uh, back again on Tuesday, and it's uh, well the teams who are uh, doing well near the top, Caledon and Braves, are the opponents. So you're looking forward to that? Absolutely, massive game. They're sitting top of the league, I believe. Uh, it'll be difficult going through there on Tuesday night. Uh, they're just off the back of a good result at the weekend there as well. Um, so yeah, it'll be definitely a tough game going through there on Tuesday. But uh, now we're we'll looking forward to it. And what was it like playing in front of the TV cameras, as you said there yourselves? And it's not something we normally do here. Did that put extra pressure on uh, uh, the game? Maybe in the pre-match build-up, but I think five ten minutes of the game, you don't do it really noticed it after that. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise to walk out to the fire and fireworks <laughs> and I never expected that, but uh, nah, it was good. A uh, good experience. Hopefully more to come. Yeah, hopefully more to come as you say, Bob. Thanks very much for your time tonight no and congratulations on our Cheers,